And coming up next, three superstars are about to step inside the square circle here tonight. Officer Sarah Collins has had a rough couple of years, ladies and gentlemen, and tonight she's looking to redeem herself in this triple threat match. After Sarah Collins butted heads with her father, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to battle it out in a triple threat match. Cyan Ranger being the wild card, which one of these fighters is going to win? The following is a fatal three-way match. Now in this match, the first person to gain pitfall or submission will win the match. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, triple threat match. And oh my lord, looks like the officers, they just went after the Cyan Ranger. And now a double body slam. But now Sarah going for a double body slam to all oh, chieftain. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, body slam again by Sarah. And now they're exchanging punches to each other. Oh my lord, stomps, ladies and gentlemen. She slams her father into the ball. Cyan going for a body slam to Sarah. And now a stomp. And now chieftain going after everybody in his path. He is Surrounded double body slam, ladies and gentlemen, simultaneously. Cyan hits the pole. He's going off the top rope. And oh my lord, he just landed on Cyan. But now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, submission move. Submission move by Sarah. And now, wait a minute. Cyan off the top rope. Cyan wins it. He is your fatal three way winner, Cyan Ranger. Ladies and gentlemen, who saw this coming? No, seriously, who ever saw this coming? Officer Sarah and her father, they were butting heads with each other as they did throughout the season, and yet, Cyan was the only one who blindsided both officers, launched herself over the top rope, and she sealed her very first victory throughout her career. And yet I was rooting for Sarah to pick up the win here tonight, after she scolded her father during the season. Still, who knew that the third wheel of this match would actually win here tonight? It's a shocker! And the drama does not stop there. Coming up next, a former UAV minister has betrayed the United Antivirus Movement and she's now in hot water. She is about to go one-on-one -on -one with newcomer Kira Sutton. After CrowdStrike betrayed the United Antivirus Movement, she created a total blackout. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Kira has had enough of CrowdStrike's antics. Which one of these divas is going to win the match? We're about to find out. This next bout is a food bowl. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The one on one match between Kira and oh my lord, Crowdstrike tried to go for an uppercut three times. And now, Crowdstrike, oh my lord, she just threw Kira into the poles. And now, oh my lord, once again, uppercut. Kira trying to fight back, body slam. But now, ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, she's going off the top rope. Oh, what a takedown. But now, Crowdstrike with a body slam, ladies and gentlemen. And now, kick. She slams her into the ground. Body slam. She slams her into the ground once again. And now, She's throwing punches, ladies and gentlemen. Stomp, and it's over. Easy with you, Kira City. What a valiant effort we just witnessed between these two fighters. Both Madam Crowdstrike and Kira Sutton made their debut here tonight, and usually newcomers would lose in their first match. But not for Miss Sutton. She defeated Crowdstrike using everything she had. And what better place to pick up your very first victory than here tonight, at Slammiversary! Congratulations to Miss Sutton! Unfortunately for CrowdStrike, she can mope all she wants, as she's gonna have to deal with many lawsuits on her head after the Microsoft outage that happened earlier this year. The burning you fear? It is shame. Ah, oh, this is bad! And speaking of antiviruses getting the recognition they deserve, let's take a quick look backstage with one of our fighters. Alright, my brothers. Both Boyd and Red are on their way to the arena. Now while the five of us prepare for a match later tonight, we want the three of you to do everything in your power to make sure Void and his stepfather Red never make it to the arena. Is that clear? Sir, yes sir! 
Okay, good. Now please, don't screw this up. Not gonna lie, Stepfather, there's something that worries me about tonight's match with my own brothers. Really? What are you afraid of, my son? Well, from what I've learned from experience, there are some clones that are programmed who tend to do a lot of... Let's just say they're known for doing something stupid. Speaking of stupid, where the hell did they get that trash can? It's me. They probably found it on the ground somewhere. And now I fear that my brothers are trying to get rid of us. Like how much are they willing to pay to end our careers? $10,000? Well, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money, and people tend to do some crazy shit just for ten thousand dollars. I understand that, Father, but what really pisses me off is the fact that we have to wash our backs tonight, and this is getting... <coughs> it's getting out of control. Okay. I understand. We're gonna have to do something about this then. And as you saw, ladies and gentlemen, Glitchy is gonna do everything he can just to make sure that Red and Void do not make it into the ring tonight. Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, these brothers are really holding a grudge against Void. First, they tried to manipulate Red Ranger into joining them. Then they try to ambush the tag team as Red and Void head into the ring! What's next? Bribe one of them $10,000 just to betray one another? I smell a mutiny among these fighters! And coming up next, a longtime veteran of this series is returning to action right here tonight after he found a conspiracy to kidnap the princess Thanks to the Koopa Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, Demon Tron will be taking on Ninja Koopa in a one-on-one -on -one match. The rules are falls, counts, anywhere. This match can end anywhere in the arena, and only one of these Koopas is going to win. The following is a falls, counts, anywhere match. There will be no countouts and no disqualifications. The only way to win is by pinfall anywhere in the arena. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this match can also end outside the arena. And oh my lord, Ninja Koopa! Oh my lord, he just went after Demon Tron! Oh, what a jump attack, ladies and gentlemen! And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Ninja Koopa hits the pole! And now, Demon Tron with punches! He's going for a weapon! He's got a table! Oh, he just slammed the weapon! And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Demon Tron! Got attacked with a body slam, and now he hits the pole, and now Demon Tron taking Ninja Koopa at the ringside. Oh my lord, what a stomp, and now what's gonna happen here? Oh my lord, Ninja Koopa trying to fight back, kicks by Demon Tron, and stomps, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for another weapon, fire extinguisher, ladies and gentlemen, and now he's hitting the fire extinguisher, punches, oh my lord, stomps, and now, oh my lord, punches once again, he's climbing the fire extinguisher, wait a minute, Delgatron! Delgatron! Delgatron is back! Oh my lord, he's just attacked Demon Tron! And now Delgatron hits the fire extinguisher! But now, ladies and gentlemen, he's back on the offensive! Delgatron just tossed him! Easy Winnie Ninja Koopa! Holy hell, did you see that? Delgatron X, one of our veterans from the old days, has finally returned! And he did not waste any time in going after Demon Tron! Remember, Demontron is a friend of Diatron, who is enemies with Delgatron. And if any one of Diatron's friends make his appearance, Delgatron wants to put them out of their misery as quickly as possible. Well, unfortunately for Demontron, Delgatron's interference has costed him the match against Ninja Koopa. Ninja Koopa slammed him to the ground, costed him the match, and with that, Ninja Koopa picks up the win here tonight. Everyone loses! <laughs> Incoming! 
We'll have to find out as the show progresses. And up next, the Master Championship will be on the line. But there is a catch. The loser will have to get his head shaved bald. After SMG4 won the Brawl Royal match last year, Scarecrow is the champion, SMG4 is the challenger. Which one of these fighters is going to walk out of Slammiversary as your new Master Champion? Here's Poe. He's Hefo and Poe, and it is for the Master Championship. And the loser of this match will have his head shaved. Here we go, Scarecrow versus SMG4. And oh my lord, Scarecrow going for a submission move. And now, oh what a kick. He goes for the submission move once again. And now he's throwing stomps, ladies and gentlemen, and pounds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, SMG4 throwing Scarecrow all across the arena, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Scarecrow with stomps once again with the fists. And now he slams SMG4 into the post. Oh my lord, taunt. He's going again. Hammer shots, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, SMG4 tried to push him away. But ladies and gentlemen, stumps. Now, oh, dumps again. And now punches, ladies and gentlemen, by Scarecrow. He's going for the submission move once again. But wait a minute. SMG4, he's got the clippers. But ladies and gentlemen, counterattack. He just shaved SMG4. He shaved SMG4. Scarecrow with the hammer shots. And it's over. Here's your winner and still master champion. Scarecrow! But wait a minute! Ganondorf! What the hell is Ganondorf doing here? Oh my lord! Ladies and gentlemen, Ganondorf is cashing in his Money in the Ring briefcase. If Ganondorf wins, he will become the new Master Champion. Oh my lord, Ganondorf, he had his briefcase the whole time, we never saw it, and ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, Scarecrow slams him into the poles, and now submission move, and now he slams him with the hammer shot, punches ladies and gentlemen, oh my lord, hammer shots once again into the pole, it's over! Here's your winner and still, Master Champion, Scarecrow! Not gonna lie, that was quite a battle! Not only did SMG4 get his mustache shaved, Ganondorf finally took the opportunity to cash in his money in the ring briefcase, but fell short. Still though, no matter how hard these combatants tried, none of them were able to match the power of the Yeti named Scarecrow, and still are your current Master Champion! Congratulations to Scarecrow the Yeti for his title defense. He fought valiantly against his opponents, and as Ganondorf and SMG4 return to the locker room, there's nowhere else for Scarecrow to go but up. It is good day to be Giant Man!